Hey everybody, I want to give a quick update on Lucky. Yesterday, Christmas, he had surgery in the morning and it went really well. And he's coming home. It doesn't address the issue with cancer, which he has, but it took care of the immediate problem. You see his stomach was kept turning. And it would go back, turn, go back, and the, the vet said, it's very rare for it to keep flipping back and forth like that. So we had to take care of that. So they went in, they righted the stomach, they like stapled it down or whatever to like the wall so it doesn't do that again. I guess it's uh, that's a possibility with larger dogs, even though he's not a larger dog, so it's kind of unusual for it to happen with him. But that's what happened. Um, it was about an hour long surgery. The vet said most of everything in there looked good. She didn't know it was one mass, a smaller one with a stomach. And um, other than that, it didn't look like there was any necrosis. So, um, so, so far, he's doing good. Um, he says we're covering there for a couple days. We're actually going to pick him up tomorrow. Um, but she said he's starting to eat fine. His energy's better. So, it's important that he's coming home. The only thing is... Um, in a couple of weeks, we got to see about bringing him back and talk to an oncologist who treats cancer in dogs and see um, what we could do with the mass here. And like I said, he might that one in the stomach might be cancerous or not. We don't know about that one either, so we might have to get the sample taken. I know some of the inside ones, they could put a needle in there. They don't actually have to open you up. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, um, you know... If, this, if the cancer is really bad and it's spread all over, it might not, I mean, a lot we could do, we got to see. But um, at least he's coming home. That's the important thing now. And um, we're going to have him for a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to put um, that link to that GoFundMe page. I still need help with this because you'd be amazed this past week. I mean, I'm a lot of money... It's been spent and been oh it's owed. Um, I, I I was amazed at the, like I said, we're like like twelve thousand or more or now at least. No, definitely more. And especially when we go forward with the any surgery he's going to need for the um, for the cancer. And then uh, I was told it's probably going to be um, um, radiation, not chemo. We have to see. It all depends on when we see the oncologist in a couple weeks or so. But first he needs to rest up and heal. We'll see how it goes. But if we can take that route, I'm going to do it. Uh, it's just, it's going to be a very expensive um, route to go. But, you know, dogs are family. I mean, he's like, he's my, the dogs are like my children. I got to do whatever I can. And I don't want anything not happen to him just because I can't afford it. So I'm hoping we go in there. And it's can be taken care of when we still have them years to come. Some dogs, they can go on chemo and radiation and the cancer can go in, in remission. And they could have two, three, four years, I'm, I hope. I went. I had a dog that did chemo years and years ago. It gave him a good year, so we have to see. But that was like 15 years ago. They had advanced a lot more. Um, but things definitely have gotten more expensive. So I'm going to put that link below. If you could help, please. If you can't, don't have the money to donate or don't want to, if you could share it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you think. If there are certain groups on Facebook, for instance, you think that might get some good attention for it, please share it there. But anywhere you can share it. The more eyeballs on this fundraiser for him, the better. Um, I would appreciate that. But... So, but good news though with his um, with his one surgery, I tell you, it's a Christmas miracle. So I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. Um, the two places we went to, everyone was very nice and supportive. I mean, I was able to call any time of day to get an update. Sometimes I called two in the morning, five in the morning to find out. And they always were nice, uh, generous with their time, tell me how he's doing. But um, he's been a brave boy. It was hard. Um, because we spent uh, yesterday uh, over an hour or so with him before he went in. And then we went to the waiting room. And then they were doing their thing. And then he, they brought him out 
for a minute, one more for us to see him right before his surgery started. So and he, he's been so brave. You know, I hate to say it. Well, yeah, he's been more, probably more braver than I have been on this because it's, um, I've been pretty scared and worried about him. So, all right. Um, I want to give an update. I know some people has been messaging me. I haven't gone back to anyone yet. I'll send them individual messages to ones who did it, but I want to give an update on how lucky he's doing. But it looks like he's doing a lot better now, and he's coming home tomorrow. We still have um, a pretty big uh, road ahead of us with the um, with the cancer he has and everything. So, you know, it's been very hard, but i got to do the best we can. Of course, it's been miserably cold here in Florida, which made it even worse dealing with this. Luckily, tomorrow when I pick him up, it's supposed to um, be warmer. That's why I'm kind of happy we're picking him up tomorrow. I didn't do it today or bring him home yesterday because it was a lot colder. Actually, got below freezing. I was so cold. Oof. I'm not used to this. When I lived up north, it was um, this wouldn't bother me nearly so much. But this temperature, it has. So luckily, it's supposed to be in the 70s and 80s in a few days from what I understand. So definitely better but i want to thank everyone for that huge amount of support i've got a lot of kind messages and thumbs up and um all that stuff here on facebook and youtube so i do appreciate it all right but like i said we got a long road ahead and um we could do this you know um yeah okay well that's it so i want to film that quickly all right thanks for watching everyone and thanks again but the poor thing, he's coming home tomorrow. All right. Bye, everybody.